Hey there, do you know the spooky secret behind Halloween? Shh, come closer. Let's unravel this mystery together. Picture a day filled with laughter, colorful costumes, and buckets overflowing with candy. That's right, we're talking about Halloween, the spookiest, yet the most delightful day of the year. But did you ever wonder how this fun-filled day came about? Well, let's take a trip down memory lane. Long, long ago, even before your great-great-great-grandparents were born, Halloween started as an ancient Celtic festival known as Samhain, can you believe it? No jack-o'-lanterns, no trick-or-treating, just a simple festival marking the end of the harvest season. It was a time when the Celts believed the boundary between our world and the world of ghosts and spirits became super thin. Spooky, isn't it? So Halloween began with the Celts. But wait, there's more to this story. Can you imagine, Halloween wasn't always about trick-or-treating and jack-o'-lanterns. It was quite different during the times of the Celts. The Celts, an ancient group of people who lived more than 2,000 years ago, had some unique traditions. They celebrated their new year on November 1st, marking the end of summer and the harvest, and the beginning of the dark, cold winter. This time of year was often associated with human death. They believed that the night before the new year, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred. To them, the lines between our world and the next were as thin as a spider's web. On the night of October 31st, they celebrated Samhain, a festival that was as much a part of their year as our New Year's Eve parties are to us. During Samhain, it was believed that the ghosts of the dead returned to Earth. These ghosts were thought to cause trouble and damage crops. But the Celts also believed that their presence made it easier for the Druids or Celtic priests to make predictions about the future. In a world without the conveniences we have today, these prophecies were an important source of comfort and direction during the long, dark winter. So the spooky side of Halloween comes from the Celts' belief in ghosts, but how did it turn into the holiday we know today? Fast forward a few centuries, and we see the transformation of Samhain into the Halloween we recognize. As time marched on, the ancient festival of Samhain began to change. Along the way, it picked up a few new traditions from Roman and Christian customs. Romans, for instance, had a festival called Feralia, where they honored the dead. They also celebrated the goddess of fruits and trees, Pomona, who was often depicted with an apple. Some believe this might be why we bob for apples on Halloween. Then along came the Christians with their All Saints Day, also known as All Hallows Day. The night before All Hallows Eve was a time to honor the saints and pray for the recently departed who hadn't yet reached heaven. This eventually got shortened to Halloween. During this time, a practice called souling was popular. Children and poor people would go door to door, offering prayers for the dead in exchange for soul cakes. This was kind of like a medieval trick-or-treating. Speaking of trick-or-treating, let's talk about guising. In Scotland and Ireland, young people would visit their neighbors in disguise and perform a trick, recite a poem, sing a song, or tell a joke, all for a reward. This reward was often food or coins. Now let's hop across the pond to America. When a large number of Irish immigrants came to the United States in the 19th century, they brought their Halloween traditions with them. Jack-o'-lanterns, which were originally made from turnips in Ireland, began to be made from pumpkins, a fruit native to America. As these traditions spread, Halloween started to lose its religious and supernatural overtones and became more about community and celebration. By the mid-20th century, Halloween had transformed into a holiday centered around children, with costumes, candy, and fun activities like trick-or-treating. And that's how Halloween transformed from a spooky Celtic festival into a day of costumes, candy, and fun. Now that you know the spooky secret of Halloween, are you ready to join the fun? This Halloween, let's make it extra special on Asher's Day. Dress up as your favorite character, carve some fantastic pumpkins, and don't forget, it's time to go trick-or-treating. Halloween is more than just candy, it's about creating unforgettable memories. Remember, every ghost has a story, just like Halloween. And if you want to hear more amazing stories, don't ghost us. Subscribe to Asher's Day, hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Stay spooky, and see you soon.